Hello and welcome back to 100 Coding Challenges in C Sharp. This is episode 18 and it's called Exam Grade Calculation. For this challenge, we're going to be calculating the exam results by taking in the marks from the user. So for the purpose of this challenge, we're going to be talking about the AQA A-level exams for computing. There are four units in total, two for AS level and two units for A2. The two exams for AS are Comp 1, which is 60% of the AS grade, and Comp 2, which is 40% of the AS grade. We're going to write a program to take the marks from the user and output the total score, percentage, and grade. The extension task for this will be to make it work for the A-level grade also. The percentage for this will work differently. So uh, for Comp 1, it will be 30%, Comp 2 will be 20%, Comp 3 will be 30%, and Comp 4 will be 20%. The marks for each exam is also being shown on the screen. So Comp 1 is 100 marks, Comp 2 is 60 marks, Comp 3 is 100 marks, and Comp 4 is 75 marks. I recommend for this challenge to give the accession task a go, even if you think it's going to be difficult, just try it at least before looking at the solution. So if you're going to give it a go yourself, then pause the video now and we'll get started. All right, to begin with, we're not going to be attempting the extension. So we're only going to be attempting to do uh, the calculation for the AS level, which are the two uh, first exams. So we'll start off by asking the user to enter their grade for the for comp one. And then we'll store that in a variable called comp one. And we'll convert that into an in32. So once again, we're doing console.readline and then we're wrapping the console.read line with a convert to in32 so that it converts the input from the user to an integer. And we'll just copy and paste that so we'll have the same thing for um, comp2 also. Cool. So now we have our two inputs from the user. There are a couple ways of doing this, but I'm going to do it in a way which I find a bit more explicit by separating out each calculation into their own variable. So to start off with, I'm going to get the total marks, which will just be as simple as doing comp1 plus comp2. Um, so that will add this value to this value and assign the combined value into this total variable i'm going to call that total marks actually cool and then we're going to declare another variable to store the percentage in so we'll call this total marks percentage actually um this won't be an integer this will be a float um because we don't want uh when we do the percentage there's a potential that um it won't be a whole number integers are only for whole numbers and digits and if you try to assign anything else to it i think it, it might throw an error or maybe it will default it to like a zero or something like that um, but what float will do will allow you to actually have those decimal places um, in there so what we'll do is um, we'll have to cast total marks into a float and the way you do that is by Doing float total marks. Um, so what this basically means is that um, it, when you put the float in a bracket before a variable, which could be like an integer or a double, um, it will say treat this variable as a float instead. So what we'll do is we'll divide this by 160 because we know that's the total marks uh, for comp1 and comp2 as comp1 is 100 marks comp2 is 60 and then um, we'll have to buy 100 to get the percentage um, so yeah there we should have the total marks and the percentage cool so what i'm going to do next is create a string called grade and this is so that I can assign some values to this variable. 
um, depending on the grade that the user gets. So this code is going to be very similar to the code that we did in the last challenge where we were calculating the grade. However, in this instance, we're um, instead of using the total marks, we're going to use the total marks percentage, which will be um, yeah somewhere between zero and a hundred. So we'll just I'll just go through this and add in each case. So case n in and when n is where equal to 80 will be an a so then in here we could do grade equals a and then break that attempt put that into a string there we go um not in sorry but because Total marks is reflect and that is a code. Cool. Um, so that will give us an A if the percentage is greater than greater or equal to 80. So I'll just go through this and add the ones for the other grades. And again, for the um, last one, it would just be less than 40. Um, that would be a grade U. Uh, so now, once we've done that, um, the code should run through this and figure out what the total marks is for that user and assign a grade to this grade variable. Um, and then now we can output something useful back to the user. So I'd want to say something like um uh let's put a string up later so with a total marks of total marks uh you scored total marks percentage um let's put a percentage Symbol there as well, uh, which means you got a grade, whatever that is. Okay, stop complaining. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's run that and test it. So um, let's test it with a fifty percent grade. So if we want to get eighty, let's just say. We've got 50 for the first one and 30 for the second. Then with total marks of 80, you scored 50%, which means you got a D. That's exactly what we want. Um, let's just try it again with another value. Let's try 100%. With total marks of 160, you scored 100%, which means you got an A. Cool. Um, actually, let's just do one last one for luck. Um, I'm just going to do a random number. Uh, 25. 35. So, with total marks of 110, you scored 68.75%. So, as we can see, it's also showing us the um, decimal places of that um, percentage. So, uh, which means you got a C. Cool. All right, cool. So for those of you that um, attempted to do the extension challenge, um, once you've done this one, I'm sure you wouldn't have found it as hard to move on to the next one also, but let's do that anyway. So to amend this to match the um, extension, I'm going to ask them for their comp three and comp four exam marks as well. So we'll have a couple more variables here. And then for the total marks, we'll add this in here as well. So now total marks will be a compilation of all four marks from each 
exam now all we need to do really is change this to match the total marks from all four exams which is 335 i believe so yeah and this will still be checking the percentage so out of 100 percent what the user has and then yeah so not too much of a difference from the original challenge i believe but let's give that a go anyway so i want to say that i've gotten full marks on everything so i'm going to say 100 for comp one let's say 60 for comp two 100 for comp three and 75 for comp four uh with a total marks of 335 you scored 100 percent which means you got an a cool um so let's just run that again and tell you marks for comp one let's go for 50 percent this time uh so let's just say 50 for the first 30 for the second um 50 for the third uh let's just say 40 for comp four uh, that won't be 50 percent exactly but um should be a bit over cool with a total marks of 170, you scored 50.7 something percent, which means you got a D. Um, so actually, I don't really like how that's come out there. We don't really want it to come to multiple decimal places like that. So what we can do is we can format the string of this float by doing a dot to string on it. So dot to string is a function which will um, usually convert an object or another type to a string, so a text format. Um, but you can also put format types when it comes to um, numbers. So if I put a 0, 0.00 in there and say like that's the format that I want, then if I run that again, And let's go for 50% of everything again. Um, so what was it? 50, 30, 50, and then I said 40 last time. So now we say with a total marks of 170, you scored 50.75. So now that like that's formatted that into only two decimal places, uh, which means you got a D. Um, yeah, there's a couple of other ways of doing this. Also, um, you could have used a decimal, which um, would have also given you two decimal places. I guess you could also do a um, math.floor, which will round down your um, value to a certain limit. So math.floor is another built-in um, C-sharp function. So if you do math.floor on this... Uh, so yeah, it takes a number. Uh, sorry, not math dot floor, math dot something else. Uh, math dot round, I believe. Yeah, math dot round. Um, so yeah, this will take in um, a number, and you can say to like what decimal place you want it to round to as well. Um, yeah. Cool, but uh, yeah, a couple of different ways, but yeah, not too important with um, this challenge. It becomes a little bit more important when you're working with stuff like money or financial systems or things when you need to be very precise of your numbers, then you want to find the um, correct way of rounding your numbers. Um, but yeah, that's it for this challenge. I hope you guys um, stuck around and uh, really attempted this one. I know it's a little bit longer than the other videos but yeah it combined a, a few different concepts that we've learned and i think this is also the first time we've looked at division in c sharp potentially i might have looked at it in one of the earlier videos but yeah let me know how you guys got on in the comment section below let me know if there's anything that you were stuck on anything that you want me to explain if i didn't explain it properly in the video and yeah, um, subscribe, give the video a like to show me that you guys are enjoying the videos so I can keep making videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one.